I've been crying ooh, ooh, Cause I'm lonely for you I am offering two tears But tears don't wipe away my fear If my heart ain't heavy sin Wow, boy, those those are all the songs of my youth. And again, I just want to say, Mary Wilson, Mary Wilson of the Supremes. God. Um, it just lets you know. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Life ain't nothing but a drop in a bucket. You know, and for those of y'all that are young and want to grow up. Take your time, young man. Mama used to say, don't you rush to get old. Such truth to statement. Because just when you really realize what life is about, a lot of times it's time for it to end. And um, <laughs> again, I, I have to send my condolences and I have to thank the Supremes for being an integral part of my youth. Um. Things that make me think about um, just <laughs> just where we were as, a, as kids. We used to have talent shows. I used to be Florence Ballard. And y'all hear me talk about my foster sister, Denise. She used to be Diana Ross. And uh, we had a girl named Ann Tucker who used to be <laughs> Mary Wilson. And that was amazing. So we were supreme. And that's how much influence y'all just don't understand that they had on the black community at that time. Because remember, there was no black women on TV like that. That were that that ex exuded excellence and 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 made you feel proud. They were supreme. They wasn't bitches and hoes with attitudes, and they wasn't none of that. They were supreme. And so the mantra of your life was to try to be supreme. It wasn't try to, it wasn't try trying to see how low you could go. It was how high you could elevate yourself. And I want to thank the Supremes for that. I want to thank Barry Gordy for that vision. Um, because anybody can go low. Anybody can go low. But it really does take um a classy person in the heart of um madness. To not let that reflect your personality. And that's what I spent a lot of time talking to uh, my folks about. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all come from the, a lot of us come from the gutter. Um, but a lot of times you feel like the gutter inside, and that's the, the way you perform. Because we've always had to live in segregated communities. We've always been in a situation where we got less resources than the other people. We've always been in a situation where um, we were mishandled, lied on, mistreated, um, and all those things by the police. I told y'all about Daniel Bell, who I grew up, my godmother, um, somebody I love and dearly. I love dearly, who had, what, 17 brothers and sisters, Sylvia Bell, and they all came from Louisiana. And her brother was Daniel Bell, who was killed by the police in 1958. And the police stuck a knife in his hand. And you know what? The reason why they wouldn't let it go, Sylvia was the only girl in that family with all them boys. And the reason why they wouldn't, she wouldn't let the story go was because they knew their brother was left-handed. So we've always had these stories. Always, I'm not saying it's right and we should get used to it or none of that. But this is what happens to a people when we conquer. Y'all don't seem to really believe that and understand that we are conquered people. And a lot of y'all get your feelings hurt when I say that. That don't mean to strive less. That don't mean to not strive to be the best. That means your ass is conquered. It's just like Dr. Francis Cress said. The, the government is involved with every aspect of your life. Racism is a part of every aspect of our lives. Entertainment, I mean, education, entertainment, economics, uh, 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 labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. You tell me, uh, uh, 
there in every damn thing is the racism. You can't get away from it. The hatred that the elite group has created in this system of America that is running through the fabric. And it can't survive. It's almost like black people are the little engine that could. We fuel this thing. We fuel this thing with our misery. So that's why I'm saying when I look at the behavior of the Victims who fuel this, other people who fuel this um, economy, this, all of it, they look like me. They black and brown, okay? And all the people who reap the benefits of what has happened on a majority, even if they don't have financial, the financial, um, um, you know, windfall as their counterparts, they still are presumed in a better position. And a lot of times because of their um, color, which is horrible because I don't want to give the impression that classism isn't a real thing. Caste isn't a, uh, a real phenomenon because it is. Okay. And, and I know Appalachians. I mean, I know rural areas are poor. I know um, <laughs> white coal miners are are are. are super poor, you know, and do worse off than a lot of us. But the fact remains, at the end of the day, a lot of them are still prejudiced and they still feel I'm better than you because I'm quiet. And what creates that phenomenon? What creates you to even think something so damn crazy? You better than me just because you're white? It's because it's baked into the, to the, to the structure of it, you know? And so it's very difficult when you're looking at just like right now, you're looking at all those senators uh, that are uh, so-called Republican, who I consider just the party of Trump, the party of racists. Um, and if you were not, then you would back up out of that. You would get up out of it, like Mitt Romney and the other ones who joined. They, they're not a part of this. So these people have spoken to who they are. Mitch McConnell. All of them, uh, uh, even some of these YouTubers that support Donald Trump and some of them that I used to support, you know, they were, of course, I used to uh, listen to their some of their podcasts, but I stopped because I realized they was white and it was a, a racist. And I was like, wow, I never thought that uh, because they couldn't see it. And the, uh, the handwriting on the wall, either that. And their ignorance continue to let them support somebody like that. Well, right off the bat, my energy uh, rejected somebody like Donald Trump. Right off the bat, you know, nothing can good, nothing good can come from somebody coming down elevator saying what he said. You've never heard anybody black come uh, that was running for president, or um, even from 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 Dick Gregory. To Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, you never heard nobody say the problem um, is white people and they all need to be uh, eliminated. You've never heard that. With all the atrocities and stuff that y'all have done throughout humanity to the whole human family, you've never heard nobody stand up there and say no shit like that about y'all when they would have every right to because you have been the devils on the planet. But yet still, you accept somebody like Donald Trump saying that. You already let me know where you stand and you've drawn a line in the sand. And I have no other conversation for you. Anybody that I know that voted for Donald Trump, I'm done with you. You know, we cannot be friends. No, this is not an objective conversation because I know you feel with hatred. And I know you believe in, 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 in a, a, you know, you dominate me, and I'm not going to let that happen. You believe in that. You believe you should. See, right now, i got no choice. It's the way it's set up. But the fact that I know that you've stolen all this from me and my grandmama and my ancient uh, uh, and my ancestors, and you don't have no remorse, and you want to keep putting it to me, keep your foot on my neck, I have no remorse for you. The Trump party is what it should be called. I don't know if there is a Republican Party anymore. There isn't. There is no Republican Party. So y'all gonna have to figure out something else. 
I don't know. Um, but this is the last stance, the last go round for white supremacy. Um, and this is a reset in my opinion. And all of this is in my humble opinion. This is a reset of, of, of society of some sort. A lot of us going to make it to the other side. A lot of us aren't. Just like a lot of us are going through with this corona, a lot of us going to make it to the other side. A lot of us aren't. You know, you don't know what's going to take you out. But you do know one thing. Race and America is synonymous. It's synonymous with one another. It it it. It's so integral, and uh, yeah, it's an integral part of American society is to hate. And as soon as you walk through the door, what race are you? What are you? Are you biracial? What color? All that is just the mantra that is over here. And it's such a cesspool of, um, of, of, um, color, you know, color uh consciousness that in order for, to have any peace that has to be broken down and it has to be eradicated but of course that's not my job <laughs> that's white folks job that's white folks job to understand how delusional they really are and what the human human family really means and that's something that they got to figure out right so you know, I got on here to really uh, talk about, just rant a little bit and talk about that damn um, uh, 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 impeachment trial and some of the footage that is being shown that is never, that I've never seen before. It is absolutely atrocious what those people went through in that damn Capitol. That's the damn shame. And if this dude don't get, you know, and anybody, if those Republicans that said they're being disrespectful, uh, looking, writing notes, doodling, and all this stuff while uh, these films and these clips are being shown, show that they got no respect for life, not even their colleagues. How can you work a uh, bipartisan? How can you work and, and, and with somebody like that that wanted you, just try to have you killed? And they have no remorse. And they won't have no ad admitting of what they did. Listen, you can't even deal with that. Like I said, I'm done with you. If you voted for Trump, and I know, and you and my, you know, you know, circle, or because I know Republicans, like I told you before, I know quite a few. Gerard Randall, well, I ain't gonna go into them all. But if I find out that you voted for Trump, especially if you're black, he's just, I don't even know what to say. Anyway, with that being said, y'all, I just had to get on here and get another video out because, like I said, I miss y'all. Haven't had a talk chance to talk much to you, but I got a whole lot of stuff burning up inside of me, and um, I'm 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 looking forward to uh doing a live stream on Sunday, so I'm putting it out there already, and hopefully all of y'all have notifications. If you haven't clicked that bell. If you subscribe, if you haven't clicked that bell and put all, then you won't be notified. Okay, so there will be a live uh, podcast on Sunday. I believe that's when uh, my guest uh, decided to talk with me um, on some things that I think the family would really, really um, benefit from. So I can't talk about it too much right now, but I'll be back with another video before then to let y'all know what's up, okay? So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share. I still have a few puppies left for anybody that wants to inquire. I think we got, yeah, we got very few left, but we still got a few. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.